Uh, the Nick Ten, the game of the week. I'm gonna. There's a lot of games of the week, but this probably one that's probably gonna, could decide the the Nick Ten or at least well, give that uh, team. Well, put it up. this way, yeah. The the, the winner is going to be in the driver's seat. Auburn and Harlem. Yeah. The game we're talking about. If that Harlem and you're having a big shindig with your Lions Club yeah, there, yeah. Park Lions Club will be there uh, doing a fundraiser. Uh, Johnny so, B. Good will be there making right. pork chop that's sandwiches. Right. But I'll tell you what, that could be a good matchup. Cause, uh, sometimes, it's going to be know. a very good matchup. Uh, you, you know, the, that Auburn defense, as good as they are, we were talking about that earlier in the show, they're going to have their hands full with Brenton Shaw. Uh, there, there's no doubt about that. Uh, he's he, a real deal, isn't he? He is. He, he's a very, very good football player. Uh, you know, Auburn's got to correct some things with those snaps, though, and, and some of that execution. Uh, you know, get back on track. Parchman got banged up in the game last night. Did come back late in the game. Uh, you know, they, they've got a as good as they got to feel about the win at Hananiga. I thought I heard somebody say I don't. We have to check with our friend, uh, you know, uh, Tom Kirschbaum to verify this. But I thought I heard somebody say it's the first time in 29 years that Auburn had won at Hananiga. Yeah, or it, something it, it, like it was that. On Facebook, I got yeah. that. I got that disc at home yet. Yeah. I can look that yeah. up, but. Uh, you know, so as good as they got to feel, they got a lot they've got to correct. And obviously, Harlem's not going to be feel good coming off of a loss. So uh, and they'll be at home, you know, big time game. I think it's their homecoming. Uh, that's going to be a big time atmosphere there that night. And Tom also had in there that it was uh, they were one and six after losing a game, uh, winning a game on turf right. and going to play them. So they won right. on the grass, right? But they'll be on turf at Harlem, which they're going to like. And you know what? I think Parchman. The reason he gets hurt is he hits so hard. I mean, it well, it, what happened last night? It, it was an effort play. He got hurt on it. Another snap had sailed over the quarterback's head. Uh, and this one ended up going like man, like twenty or thirty yards back down the field because the quarterback kind of fumbled it. <laughs> well, it went yeah. like fifteen to twenty on its own, and then the quarterback kind of <laughs> stumbled it and kicked it there. And Parchman dove in for it, and then the pile kind of dove in on him. And and uh, I think it was his arm or shoulder that was hurt. But like I said, he came back later in the game on that. So they're looking at him at Wisconsin. From what I heard, as a wide receiver, I could see it. And man, he can catch the ball. You know, he's just fun to watch, and he's yep. pretty, he's just pretty humble. He goes out there, does, does his, his job. job. Yep. All, all three of those D1 kids are like that. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, that's good. Belf- Belvedere and Guilford. It's a tough game. Battle, you know what? Especially after they've won two big well, games, they got to go into Guilford to play a really good and, Guilford And that's game. what you got to worry about. We, we had kind of talked about that with Belvedere North coming into this week, and, and they ended up winning. But, you know, you got those two games with Harlem and Hananiga, or however you want to put it, back-to-back back there, and, and two big wins for Belvedere. they got to be flying high. It, what, what you don't want to have, and I'm sure Coach Leonard will be on top of this, you don't want him to come in overconfident, saying, okay, well, we took care of Harlan Hananiga. The rest of this is going to be cake. Uh, you know, Guilford's a very good football team, and you, you don't yes, they are. you don't want to go in there overconfident thinking that you just got that game in the bag because Guilford will beat you. And they play well at Swanson. Yes, folks. they do. For some yes, reason, they, do. they play well, really you get good. on that turf there. and yep. Coach Mel Gilfillan plays uh, real yeah. well. Another big game. I guess they're all Huge big Huge game. game. Freeport yeah. at Belvedere North. Freeport needs one more game to qualify, and like you said, their schedule yep. is really heavy. They've got North, Belvedere, and Auburn left, and, yeah, this is going to be a game uh, – they were one of the last three is, is one that they've got to have. But, you know, again, two good football teams when you look at it. You know, I don't think you can just say, well, just because Belvedere North's at home that they're going to win because Freeport's a very good football team. And they got uh, a lot of confidence right yes, now. They, you can yes, see they that. do. They yep. are on a roll right now. That is going to be an, an unbelievable football game. Uh, in, in, in You know, uh, so, yeah, I mean, huge game there. And, of course, both teams still in it for the conference, too, when you look at things. And then you have East at Boylan. Boylan, wow. uh, and East is a pretty good team, I, folks. I tell you what, much like we said many times this year, you look at East, and uh, I, I don't know the last time they beat Boylan, but they're they're going to be looking to try to do that for the first time and who knows how long. And Gary Griffin got that win. His kids are confident. They play well, folks. Yes, I mean, yes. it's not like they're getting lucky into the ball games. They play well. They got some good kids. Alex Moore right. is not given the credit. He's a pretty good daggone quarterback, folks, yeah. and he can play. And it, it, if Boylan would lose this and go 0-7, that would be tough. Right. So, so they've got a lot on the line for this one. Yep. And the other game has Hananiga at Jefferson. That'll be at Wyeth. And uh, Hananiga lost two in a row. They really need to win this one to the get big, their uh, the, karma going it's again. It's a big game for them, especially when you look. They're, they're, they mean they need one more win to qualify. And you look, they got Harlem and Guilford the last two weeks, which are going to be tough games. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and don't know what's going to happen with Daytona Chandler. It looked pretty rough last time. I don't know if he'll be back. Do you think he had a concussion? Is that uh, what it is? Well, uh, some kind of collarbone injury I heard, but then also possibly a concussion. 
Uh, you know, let alone this upcoming game against Jefferson. I mean, who knows if he'll be back this season. Uh, you know, so so a big game against Jefferson for Hananiga so they can get that fifth win to at least make sure they're qualified for the playoffs. And, of course, the game we've talked about a little bit today, Byron at Rockford Lutheran in the big Northern Conference West. Uh, James uh, Robinson needs 24 to tie it, 25 to become the all-time leading rusher. And if everybody is not there just from the media and from that stuff, you better go, like Matt said, go yeah. find a seat right now to yeah. camp out. Yeah, exactly. It, it's going to be packed there. Everybody's going to want to see him break the record. And it's a big game on top of that. Uh, you know, Couldn't think of a better atmosphere, honestly, for him to break the record because it's going to be a big game uh, to begin with when you got 5-1 Byron coming in there. Yeah, uh, because you know what? Jeff Boyer likes to win, too. Yeah, exactly. And he's on a roll right exactly. now. Well, and, five in a row. And, they're and in the, you, they've qualified this week. They, they did. You know, they're going to have something to prove coming into that game. They're sitting at 5-1. and one. You know, they were state-ranked at the beginning of the year and lost that first game pretty bad. To Marengo. You know, they, they want to come in and, and show that, you know, hey, we're the team everybody thought we were. We could compete with a team like Lutheran and, and, and really kind of announce that, that they can be a threat when you get into the playoffs later in the year. Uh, one game I do want to point out in the Big Northern West, though, is that Stillman Valley at Dixon game. Uh, that is going to be a big, big game. Uh, you look at Stillman Valley, obviously, they pulled a 3-3 three and three this week, need two wins to qualify for the yeah. playoffs. they got Dixon. Uh, they've got Rockford Lutheran left in a tough game against Oregon. They're going to have to find a way to win two of those three games. And the sad thing and, is they forfeited that one game yeah, to Richmond Burton because yeah. of the uh, tragic loss yep. of Emily Fleming. Yep. I mean, not that that's more important than right, the playoffs, right. but, but that's one of the losses. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, but so I mean, it, it's almost a must-win game for Stillman Valley because I don't think you can uh, count on just saying that you're going to beat Lutheran to qualify for the playoffs. You know, you really got to look at the the Dixon and the Oregon games as games that you got to win, and it's a big game for Dixon though too. Uh, you know, because they still got Byron left on the schedule, they still need a win to qualify. Uh, for the playoffs after losing to Winnebago. So that's a big game within the conference there, too. Yeah, that was a basketball score last yes, night, 65-50. to 50. Oregon, Winnebago, they don't like each other, so that'll be right. a fun game no matter what. Rock Falls at Mendota. Uh, other games in the big Northern Conference East, Genoa Kingston at uh, North Boone. North Boone playing well right now. Yes, they are. Rockford Christians on the road at Harvard. And our friends at Christian Life, they took a took a lump last night. Yes, they did. As they lost to uh, uh, Chicago Hope, probably one of the best teams in the Northeastern oh, yeah. Athletic yep. Conference. They'll play against Christian Liberty. They'll be at home on Friday night. And a big game in the NUIC, yes, which be. is a good conference, Forreston at Lena Winslow. Forreston's got a lot to prove yet. Yes, they do. And, and they've quietly played well. You know, they took a beating against Dakota a few weeks ago, but they quietly kind of played better the last few weeks after that. Uh, it'd be a big, big game. It's always a big game when those two teams play. I love those small school atmospheres. We've yes. been to a couple games this yep. year. And, folks, that reminds me when I used to live in Ohio where we had nothing else to do in exactly. life. But it's, go to a it's football. the event. It's, yeah. it's the event in that area. And, and they all do it special, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. And it's just yes, a lot of do. fun. So uh, um, it, it, should be a, it should be a great week of high school football I, it's, again. It's going to be a great three weeks here. Isn't, I, isn't I mean, it wonderful? It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look at this conference, and we talked about Freeport with North Belvedere, Auburn. North has Freeport in, in a game against Boylan, which, you know, again, I know the in East, you know, two teams that I know at the bottom, but they're going to be tough games. Uh, Belvedere has Guilford and Freeport still on the schedule, not to mention East. Uh, and those are all teams looking to still win one more, make the playoffs. Uh, you know, Guilford wants to try to get in, but they've got Belvedere, Auburn, and Hananiga. Got to try to find two wins out of that to get in. Uh, Auburn with Harlem, Guilford, and Freeport, you know. I mean, we're talking about them maybe one in the conference, but that's tough. Harlem, Auburn, and Hananiga still uh, it just so much still undetermined in this conference right now. And I know uh, Gary Griffin says that's about the kids. It's about the kids. He wants to be boiling bad, and yes. that'll make his kids happy. Yes, so it that'll, will. that'll be that'll be interesting.